My name is Paul Hopman, and I'm a scratchboard illustrator, and this is what I do. This is uh, the artist scratchboard. It actually started in the 1800s. Very few people do it anymore, and my training is that I went to the American Academy of Art in Chicago some 42 years, and I had one month training, and the rest is just continue to, to, to scratch. How I start is I, um, I start with a subject. In this particular case, I work with photographers. Um, I met Sherry um, Keasley, and she is she's an amazing lady. Um, this particular photograph was a close-up of a uh, Spanish horse. So I pick a subject that I, I feel as though is really going to be appropriate for my style of work. I enjoy working with Mustangs um, because it's a because I, that's that's what I do. I do my theme would be uh, to represent it as an amazing animal portrait. So after I pick the subject, I'll take and do a quick sketch on the scratch board, and then then it's a matter of continually looking at it and doing a hand-eye relationship. So I'll look, uh, I'll look once, I'll scratch three times, go back and forth. Is during my event demonstrations, and I'll go to different art shows or I'll set up in a lobby in perhaps a, um, a ranch, or, uh, and then, and I also do private commissions. So if you want your dog or uh, an appropriate animal done as a memorial or while they're still available, that's what I do. It's now hand eye, hand eye, hand eye, um, a, a about a million times. What I'll do is I'll just start scratching. So I'll use a, a paper here so I don't I don't get ink on the side of my hand, and then I'll simply just start in. The structure of the board is such that it is a piece of masonite or paper board on the bottom. On top is the ink. And then in the middle, like an Oreo cookie, it's white, soft clay. So as I scratch, scratch board, I do two things. One, I remove the black ink. And second is that I leave a distinct uh, scratch or crevice within the clay. Much like you run your fingernail across a piece of chalk, you leave a, a divot. So at that point, what I do is I will take um, and shave pastel chalk into a dust, into a little pile that I create, and then with small instruments, I start pushing the color into the crevices such that, you know, this tan here is starting to go in here. Another example is this particular area. I've now pushed chalk into this area just to illustrate how it's done. So the tool I, I prefer to use is a hypodermic needle, which is actually, it's cut at an angle. It's surgical steel. It's cut at an angle, and I, I'm able to cut versus a sewing needle would tear. So what I've done in this particular, um, to, to show it visually, I'll now represent the hair, and it's just a free form. So again, it's hand-eye. Now I could use an X-Acto knife or a larger dimension tool, but if you noticed here, compared to these very tiny, small scratches, I used a much finer needle. Now I'm using a much larger gauge needle, and you can see the width of the line. So I vary the width depending upon how I would like to represent this particular photograph. Oh, this, this is a project I have completed some time ago. It is a, um, I took the photograph myself, and it's Cooper. He's a Mustang, literally two weeks off the range. So what I'll do is I'll take and take the photo, and then here's an example. The original is already in a frame, and this is an example of a Jaclay print. A Jaclay, it's a French term for to spray. So it's actually the finest form of reproduction available. I can produce one print or 50 or 100. And this is all done in between 9 and 10 colors. It's archival, such that their manufacturer guarantees the process, the ink, the paper, the canvas, for in between 100 and 200 years. If you'd like to see 
some of the subjects that I have on my website. It's it's pretty easy. It's Paul Hopman, H-O-P-M-A-N, dot com. I live in Tucson. Um, People send me, they meet me at different shows, etc., and then send photos appropriately if they'd like a, a pet portrait done. The other way to find me uh, would be Facebook, and it would be Paul Hopman slash artist, and that's my business page.